Okay. Um, and WH questions like who, what, where, when, why, how. That's not a WH, but it falls under the categories. Um, and then W sounds. Pronunciation. Yep, for pronunciation. Uh, so what do you know about copyright laws? Any Copyright law? Uh, yeah, what does it mean? You have some, it's just like patent, but not patent, you have the right to of your products or some virtual products. Others cannot use it in public. Uh, I mean, they need to pay for it. Right. So what we're going to talk about today is um, copyright in terms of films, mostly. Um, I mean, lots of stuff is copyrighted, like music, uh, movies, television. But we're going to be talking a lot about um, mainstream movies, so things that you would go see in the movie theater. Um, I know a lot of people still today um, pirate these movies, and it costs the movie industry a lot of money. So we're going to be talking about that. How does that work in China right now? China? China, yeah. China has a lot of to say about copyright laws. Yeah. And China always copied uh, even the U.S. movies and mm -hmm. uh, put it in the internet. Sometimes it is for free. So I know. So U.S. always uh, blame China for this action. Uh, I know it is very loose in China to watch movie online, and it is not. It is illegal. Yeah. Uh, but. You know, such under such a social norm, people are not easy to realize it. Oh, I need to pay it. Uh, yeah. Yeah, it's so easy to do it anywhere. Um, yeah. Oh. Uh, know you, you mean China anywhere? Has... Sorry, go ahead. You mean U.S.? Um. Yeah, it's pretty easy. I mean, yeah, you I can heard go it. to certain websites and just type in what you want and find it. What was the quality of the movie? Um, is it HD or? It depends what you're looking for. Hi, Sal. Hi, for teacher. How are you? I'm good. How are you? Fine. Good. We're talking about copyright today, uh, mainly with films. Um, but it depends what you're looking for. If it's new, like something still in the movie theater, or like on DVD, obviously it's going to be better because somebody's not like sitting there with the movie camera like, like this. Yeah. But like quality is it varies. Um I don't know. I don't I don't really download movies. <laughs> so <laughs> I can't really, not sure. But I know like abroad specifically I studied a lot in um the laws about this in China and India, um, they only allow a certain number of films from America to come to the theaters per year. Oh, I never heard of that. Like, I, know I, China, I know China has a strong censorship about it. Uh -huh. but I don't know. It has certain number of movies. Okay. Um, when I was in university um, studying it, they said 11... U.S. films per year were allowed in China. I don't know if that's still the case or like what what the laws are. What, what, what the time is it? Was it? It was in 2011. 2011. It is now too far away. I don't know. Yeah. I need to check it. Um. Do, I I don't know why did Chinese government do that to protect domestic movie or. Yeah, that's what they were saying when I was studying it. It was to protect uh, the domestic market and, like, cultural influences. Yeah. Yeah, I think the domestic market's a big thing. And that's how um, Hollywood makes a lot of its money, is from international sales. Yeah. So. Um, I'm going to ask you guys before we really dig into it. 
Uh, who are your favorite filmmakers? Do you have favorite filmmakers? Actually, no. Uh, no. I always just remember the <clears throat> title of the movie, the actor okay. of the movie, but not the filmmaker. Uh, some Chinese filmmaker is okay for me, but for some American, I should know that, but I need to check it. <laughs> Their names. Well, then, what are your favorite movies? For me? Yeah. Favorite well, movie? Either of you, Sal or, or Chow. Uh, so. Shashinko's Redemption. Okay. Uh, yeah, Spielberg, right? Ah, uh, yes. And Schindler's List. Schindler's List? Yeah. Is that... That's Gilbert too. Look. Maybe. Look at who who made that. Yeah. Maybe he is my favorite movie Shakers maker. His list is. Uh, yeah, that's Spielberg too. Do so you like Steven yeah. Spielberg? Yeah. Maybe. He's a very good director. Yeah. Okay. Welcome back. <laughs> so, do you have any favorite filmmakers? I don't know if he can hear me. He dropped again. Yeah, he must be having internet trouble. Yeah. Okay. What's your favorite movie? What's my favorite movie? Yeah. Um, I have a few. Um, have you heard of the film Apocalypse Now? No. Could you type it? Yeah, I'll type it. Apocalypse Now. It's an old film um, about the Vietnam War. Oh. And I like the movie Anchorman. It should... oh. Hi, Juan. How are you? Hello. Hello. How are you? Do you listen? How are you? Oh, I'm doing fine. What about you? I am. Yeah. Okay, thanks. What are you talking about? What do you not teach a new lesson? Are you favorite for your marker? Apocalypse. This lesson. How about this a new lesson? Yes. Um, and the film industry. So we're going to be reading a article about how um, copyright laws and people pirating movies abroad affects the U.S. economy. Um, but right now, I just want to know, who are your favorite filmmakers? So, like, directors, or maybe what is your favorite film? I like the Star Wars. Star Wars, very good. Yeah. I love but Star Wars. The, the last one, I, I like the episode... You know that they started for the in the middle. The middle, which one? I think it's Star Wars three. Uh, episode five. three. Yes. Like the newer ones that they just made a few no, no, years no, no. ago, or um, the original ones. No, the originals, yes. Okay. The first, the first three movies. So like episode six. Yes. Okay. Uh, Return of the Jedi. Yes. That was a good one. I love Star Wars. Who was the director of these movies? George Lucas, right? George Lucas, right, yeah. right. 
Now it's amazing that they are putting in 3D. I would like to yeah. see it. Um, yeah, Star Wars is good. Did you know they are coming out with a brand new Star Wars? You're uh, asking me? Yeah. Can you repeat the question because I don't understand? They are going to come out with a new Star Wars. Did I come out? No, sorry, I don't understand. I think um, we have to let a new Star Wars. J.J. Abrams. Have you heard of him? Mm -mm. He made the show Lost. He made what? The show Lost. Show Lost. Oh my God! I, I don't know what I have in my ears. Uh, I couldn't understand nothing. Um, I typed it in Kalingo chat. J.J. Abrams. Uh huh. Yes. He is supposed to direct the new Star Wars movie. Ah, okay. Well, let's see how we do it. Yeah, right? He made um, the new Star Trek. Ah, okay. It Which... must be good because for for some reason they ch they choose it. Yeah, guy. I really like him. He makes pretty good films, I think. Well, let's see. <laughs> okay, my next question for you guys is where do you typically watch movies? Where? Well, I like watch. Uh, uh, I watch movies on my TV. On TV. Yeah. Do you watch DVDs or um, movies that are playing on TV? Oh, both. Uh, Netflix and uh, DVDs mm -hmm. and Blu-ray. Okay. Good. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I think Netflix for me too. Yeah, yeah. You can choose any. Yeah. Any, any tips. Mostly if I'm uh, if I have extra time and I am bored. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Which is not often anymore. <laughs> yeah. Uh, they have a lot of titles, so you can choose uh, some good movies. Yeah. Hey, uh, Mohammed. Is it Mohammed or Jamal? I'm sorry, I don't remember from last time. Mohammed. Mohammed. Yeah. Hi again. Hello. How are you? I'm good. How are you? Good. Uh, Mohammed, <coughs> I will ask you my first question. Um, what is your favorite movie? Oh, that's a hard question. <laughs> or who is your favorite filmmaker? Filmmaker, yeah, that's. Uh, 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 Quentin Tarantino. I love Quentin Tarantino. Oh, yeah. He's the best. Do you have a favorite of his film? Uh, all of them, actually. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Kill Bill. Kill Bill, those are really good. And um, did you see the new one that he made? Um, what's it called? Oh, wait, I can't think of what it's called. Um, what was the last Django one? Unchained? Yeah, Django and Chain. Did you like it? Yeah, of course. Yeah. Awesome. He's the guy who makes uh, Pulp Fiction. Yes. Okay. I really like it. Oh, ciao. Hello. Where do you typically watch movies? Uh, actually, I I like watching the movie theater, and I go to it often. Okay. And also, I watch it online, but I won't admit that sometimes without <laughs> paying. <laughs> well, you know what? Netflix is online. We can just say I watch movies online. <laughs> um, yeah, I love the movie theater, but I haven't been in so long. I used to watch movies at um, university a lot because I studied film in 
in school. Um, that was my my undergraduate degree, so that would be every single day go to school and watch movies. And that was so did you, nice. Did you get sick about that? Did I what? I mean, be I sick get, about that. Yeah, I did at the time, but now I miss it. <laughs> hey, Mohammed. Yeah. Uh, where do you typically watch movies? Mostly on my laptop. On your laptop? Yeah. That is nice because you can watch them anywhere. Yeah. But the theater is uh, more fun. Yeah, definitely. You get the whole experience. Yeah. Everything is dark and uh, very loud. <laughs> exactly. Kind of get like sucked in because of the big screen. Yeah. Okay. Love with the people. Yeah. Yeah, there is nothing like the f movie theater. Yeah. Um, have you guys ever heard that they pump popcorn smell into the theater? Oh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> you think it's true? Yeah. <laughs> That's right. an ambush. Today, um, we're going to work on the W sound. Um, sometimes people will, depending on where they're from, um, make like a V or a U sound, like uh, I would or I would. Uh, but we're going to try to really work on wo wo wa. Because um, today we're doing WH questions, like uh, where, why, when. Um, so um, this sound is kind of like a wa 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 sound, or um, think of like an ambulance, like wee wee wee, <laughs> or like a baby crying, like wa wa wa, wa 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 wa. <laughs> like really think of like that strong W like wa 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 <laughs> like rounding your lips. It's a little silly, but that's the sound we're gonna make. Um I'm gonna give you a tongue twister. I'll type it for you. It's gonna help you practice your W. I'm gonna tell you first, okay? And then I'll I'll send it to you so you can practice. It is. How much wood would a woodchuck chuck if a woodchuck would chuck wood? What? What? <laughs> Ready? One more time. How much wood would a woodchuck chuck if a woodchuck could chuck wood? God. Do you know? Uh. None. I don't know either. I'm not sure how much wood that would be. Oh, you can practice saying it. How much wood would a woodchuck chuck if a woodchuck could chuck wood? Be a lot of wood. Do you guys want to practice saying that? But slowly, I think. Slower? <laughs> yeah. You can practice slowly. The you're trying to laugh in the fast, right? What? You're trying to... F Laughing up fast. You want to be able to try it fast. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Okay, let me try. Okay. How much wood would a woodchuck chuck if a woodchuck could chuck wood? Excellent. Good job. Does anybody else want to try? Okay, let me try. Okay, go for it. How much wood would a woodchuck chuck if a woodchuck could chuck wood? Awesome! Good job. <laughs> Try it. Okay, let me be the next victim. Okay. Uh, how much would a would a woodchuck if chuck if a woodchuck could chuck wood? Good. Good job. Mm. Hi, Furkan. Do you want to try a tongue twister? Yeah, why not? So okay. Can you see it or do you need me to send it again? <laughs> okay. How much would would a woodchuck chuck if a woodchuck could chuck? Good. <laughs> Good job. Sal, you want to try it? Thank you. Okay. 
So good job with the W's. That is exactly how we say it. Okay, and then there's another one that we can try, which I have not heard before, but it's a good way to practice our W's. Um, whether the weather be cold or whether the weather be hot, we'll be together whatever the weather be, whether we like it or not. What? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I've actually, this is the first time I've heard this, but it's really good. Especially since we're going to be practicing W-H questions. Okay. With Ready? There you go. For you guys to read it with me. Whether the weather be cold or whether the weather be hot, we'll be together whatever the weather be, whether we like it or not. Oh, good. Anybody want to try that one? Nope. <clears throat> Can't try it. Yeah. Whether the weather be cold or whether the weather be hot, well, we'll be together, whatever the weather be, whether we like it or awesome. not. Awesome. Good job. You first speak. Who wants to follow? Oh, Sal ran away. <laughs> yes. It, it don't decide it. Okay, let me try, but uh, uh, I think I'm going to do it more slowly. I think it'll be great, though. Whether the weather be cold or, the we or whether the weather be hot, we'll be together whatever the weather be, whether we like or not. Good. Good job. Anybody else? Okay, I'll go. Okay. Whether the weather be cold or whether the weather be hot, we'll be together, whatever the weather be, whether, whether we like it or not. Excellent. I think that was faster than I did it. <laughs> <laughs> Anyone okay. else? Whether the weather be cold or whether the weather be hot, we'll be together, whatever the weather will be, whether we like it or not. Oh my God. Well, what? 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 <laughs> <laughs> that was awesome. <laughs> Oh, that was fantastic. That was so fast. Wah, 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 wah. Have you guys ever heard of Peanuts? Charlie Brown? Yeah. It's like almost like the teacher in Charlie Brown, which yeah. just goes wah, 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 wah. <laughs> <laughs> that was awesome. You guys should just, like, say this when you wake up in the morning. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Maybe that will be my new thing to do in the morning to get myself awake. <laughs> All right. Um, yeah, good job. So I think you have the W's down. <laughs> okay. So today we'll be using a lot of those WH sounds. Um, there are quite a few WH words that we can use in questions. And one additional word. Um, who, what, when, where, why, and the last one is how. And that's H-O-W, not W-H. But we use it along with W-H words. And those are all to ask questions. So any question, we'll start with a number of those. Um, so who is about a person? What is about a thing or an interest? When is about a time? Where is about a place? Why is about a reason? And how is for a quantity? Directions or feelings. So an example of a who question is who are you going with? What could be what is Apple's new product or what color do you like? When could be when are we meeting them? Where could be where did you meet him or where are you going? Why it could be why did you fail your test? Um, and how might be how much does it cost or how um, how are you feeling? Something like that. Um, who questions are used to talk about people or to ask about people? So most who questions begin with who is or who was. So who is present tense, who was past tense. Who is the new teacher? Um, the answer would be um, Lauren is the new teacher. Andrew is the new teacher. Who was your first friend? Jenny was my first friend. Present tense and past tense. Um, what questions? What questions are used to ask about people? Uh, are used to ask people about a specific thing or an interest? 
So common questions could be, what do you do? What time is it? What kind of music do you like? What's your favorite color? What's your favorite food? What is your favorite song? What's your favorite movie? Anything like that. Um, what do you do for work? What would the answer be? How would you answer a question like that? Could you repeat? What do you do for work? Um, I paint. Okay, yeah. So simple present. I do this. I am. Just simple present. I am. Yeah. I work as. I work as. Um, yeah, simple present. Um, what kind of food do you like? How would you answer that? I like spicy. Yep, I like spicy food. Simple present. Um, where questions are used to ask about location. So the most common where question is, where is? Where is this building? Um, where is Mexico? Where? Uh, am I still here or she's gone? I think it, it is her problem. Uh, she looks really weird. Yeah. Like aliens is about to abduct her. I, I should have took a picture. <laughs> yeah, you are cutting out. Yeah, frozen now. Refresh it. Maybe refresh the page. Okay. No. <laughs> You're back. That is something you don't want to hear. <laughs> it was what? really weird. What? what That's what, all I happened? heard. Oh, I'm talking, okay. and all I hear is, she looks really weird. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know you were here. Could I you guys hear me talking? Yes, we do. Mm. Okay, so did you hear me talking about where question? Oh no, we didn't. No, no, we didn't. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, actually, we didn't hear anything after what you. What was the last thing you heard? <laughs> oh, oh, I don't remember. No. From the beginning, please. What? <laughs> <laughs> we didn't remember anything. Oh, good. <laughs> Excellent. <laughs> Beginning for the I am the teacher. Up on the internet. But you were looking really weird. Awesome. I'm so glad. Your mouth was wide open and you were looking <laughs> silly. Don't Photoshop anything. <laughs> um. Okay. So where should I start from? What did you hear last? Did you hear who? No. No. Okay. We we heard what do you do for work and that's it. Okay. So you heard, okay, fine. Um, where questions are used for location. So you can ask where something is. Where is your house? Where is Mexico? Where is the United States? Where is Main Street? Where is school? How do you answer those? Uh, with at the north, at the corner, uh, across the street. Okay, so like it is, or um, if I was to say she live, or where does she live? We could say she lives yeah. in, or she lives at. She lives far away. She lives far away. Where is um, where is the shopping mall? Right in the corner. How would you answer it in a full sentence? It is right in the corner. There you go. Near the farms. Ask you like I asked my kindergartners. <laughs> Full sentence, please. Um, good. When questions are used to ask about time. 
So when is class? Um, when is the movie starting? How would you answer that? When is class? Class is every day. Class is every day. When is it? What time is it at? At, uh, at, a. A. It is at noon. It is at 7 p.m. Is that whatever time? Um, when is the movie starting? It depends. What kind of movie? <laughs> <laughs> Make something up. <laughs> you have to look for the, <laughs> the cartelera. I don't know. The matinee. The matinee, yes. Oh, it is a midnight function, so. Okay. What time is it? How would you answer that? What time is what? it? It's eight o'clock. It is eight o'clock. So you'd answer like, when is the movie in the same way? So it is. It is just starting. You just say it is at. Okay. Or it is starting at. Just basically, it is. It is. That's okay. how you can start a sentence. It is. Okay. Um. Why questions? Why questions are used to find out a reason for something. Why did you do that? Yeah. Um, why is this so expensive? Why are you such a terrible dancer? <laughs> why is that dog so stupid? Um, because you're stupid? Why? I don't know. Lots of small children ask that question a lot. Why? Yes. Um, and Very you can curious. answer in any way you want, really. Because. Yeah. That's a good way to start an answer. Because. Um, yeah. You can answer in a number of ways. So the reason. Yeah. How questions are used to find out quantity, directions, or feelings. Um, and a lot of the times, um, how questions are followed by quantity words like much, many, big, so a quantity word. Um, how much is it cooked? It costs thirty dollars. How many sandwiches do you want? I would like four sandwiches. Um, most common what? how questions for directions for traveling would be like, how do I get to? Um, how do I get to the Roman Colosseum? How do I get to the shopping mall? How do I get to your house? How did she get? The job. That could be a question. Um, how do you know it was her? Oh, I checked the phone record. That's how I know it was her. Um, how is she handling her breakup? <laughs> <laughs> that could be an example of a how question. She's crying and crying. She's very upset. <laughs> or she's handling it great. She's handling it awesome. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> how are you feeling? I'm great. How are you? They ask that a lot. I'm very good. How are you? I'm doing well. So it's very simple, very commonly used how question. Um, any questions so far? No. no. All good. Good. Okay. What are you guys talking about? Yeah. I Today won't. I told your story to a teacher, and the teacher told me worse than your job during cleaning. He said I was working in a as a barista, and uh, when I went to the toilet, they couldn't, they didn't, they missed the target, you know. And she had to clean everything. <laughs> <laughs> they are not children; they are adults. Because, because who missed you the target. It does sound terrible. It was. Ugh, yeah. And that was for us. Oh, so bad. All right. How do you feel about it? What? <laughs> How do you feel about it? <laughs> it's a how question. I didn't have to clean up any of that today, so. <laughs> Oh, still don't feel good about it, but you know what? Thank you. <laughs> it makes me feel better. <laughs> yeah, you should. 
All right. Um, if you don't have any questions, I will send you the link to this article. There is a giant ad for this new movie on it. Ooh. Um, let's see. Okay. It's called Film and Television Play a Vital Role in Driving Innovation, Strengthening U.S. Economy. The more racid sound. Okay, just tell me if it's big enough. Is that big enough? Yeah, it's good. Okay, yeah, great. Um, whoa. Porn star. Okay, it's it's loaded website. Read the whole thing. It's from the Huffington Post. You guys know that website? Yeah. Beards news. Yeah. Some of it. Okay. Tomorrow, the House Judiciary Subcommittee on Courts, Intellectual Property, and the Internet will examine the role of copyright as a driver of innovation in America. The hearing will be a great opportunity to hear stories of the people who are on the ground developing new and cutting-edge ways to make the movies and TV shows we love and the ways in which sound copyright policy makes their work possible. Their jobs are just some of the thousands all across the country that contribute to the creation of our great American export, film and television. Every year the MPAA analyzes data from the Bureau of Labor Statistics and other sources to determine our industry's contribution to the United States economy. Using the most recent data available, we offer this snapshot which summarizes the industry's economic impact and reinforces that the production and distribution of film and television continues to be one of this country's most valuable cultural and economic resources. In 2011, the motion picture and television industry supported nearly 2 million jobs and 104 billion in wages. These figures are slightly lower than the previous year, primarily due to the closure of traditional video rental stores, which are being supplement supplanted by online platforms. As new technologies transform the way audiences enjoy entertainment, we are also are adjusting our economic formulas to ensure that we capture the changing landscape, a process that is ongoing. The industry's direct production-related jobs increased over the previous year to 284,000, generating $43.1 billion in wages. By direct production industry jobs, we mean the set designers, production assistants, marketing professionals, and others who are involved in the core business of production, marketing, manufacturing, and studio distribution of films and television shows. These are high-paying jobs, earning an average of $84,000 per year, or 75% higher than the national average. There are an additional 365,000 direct jobs, distributing the content enjoyed by millions directly to consumers like those in movie theaters or video rental stores, not to mention indirect jobs in thousands of other companies. And as we highlighted during National Small Business Week a few weeks back, many of the jobs just discussed are part of a national network of 108,000 businesses that comprise our industry, mainly small businesses. In fact, 85% employ fewer than 10 people. American films and television shows are immensely popular worldwide, making our industry one of the most highly competitive globally. Consisting gen consistently generating a positive balance of trade with all of our partners around the world. Total exports increased to $14.3 billion in 2011, up 5% over the previous year as box office in countries like China and Brazil expands. Opening new markets and providing legal platforms for global audiences to watch the film and television they love will continue to be a major priority for the MPAA. The economic figures outlined above are important elements in the ongoing conversations about the future of the U.S. copyright system. As these discussions progress, we will continue to advocate for protecting America's creative community and incentivizing future innovation while ensuring an internet that works for everyone. Okay, so I didn't have a ton of information about what's going on in the copyright. Um, 
I guess, um, like legally what's going on. You guys know anything? Um, I guess like what's been going on over the past few years with copyright. What is your your knowledge about it? Hmm. The piracy is one of the biggest problems. What is? The piracy. Piracy? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, that's SOPA and with how do you pronounce that? You thought I don't you know, that was really popular for a very short period, and then it, like, seemed to go away. Yeah, <laughs> because they didn't implement it. It was blocking everything. Yeah, so they got yeah. rid of, like, a bunch of piracy um, websites, and then people stopped talking about it. I'm not really sure. No, I was, I was living in Asia happen. when it happened, so I don't really know. Even Wikipedia changed their website to a black... Mm -hmm. Protest for men. All yeah. of those torn sites. That. Yeah, all of those torn sites are still active. You can access them easily mm -hmm. and download whatever you want without paying anything. Right. And the companies are losing lots of money, like uh, billions of dollars. Yep. Yeah, it really affects like it affects the music industry a lot. Um, yeah. And does affect the film industry a lot, but it's like the film industry makes so much money and um, the game industry. The game industry, yeah, video game industry is big too. You know, there was a game was pop after just one year, one million copies of that game was downloaded on a website. Jeez, <laughs> I'm wondering like how much those two things, like closing the websites, a couple of big websites, how that affected anything. It didn't work, actually. They closed Mega Upload and... I remember the Mega Upload thing. They arrested the guy. Who but owned. he opened the website again. You can just type mega.nz, uh, I guess. Okay. You can see that now. Or pirate me. It's still active. They're just yeah, changing their something. domain and continuing what they're Look, doing. Is it based out of... What, like Sweden or Switzerland or something? Yes, yeah, Sweden. Now it's in Iceland. Okay. Um, yeah, so those, those seriously affect the industry. And the U.S. makes a lot of money for their film industry from abroad, from international sales. Um, I'm not sure. Like, they didn't have a lot of numbers or anything in here as far as that goes. Um, and a lot of you said that your favorite place to watch movies was at home. So, I think that's true for a lot of people. <laughs> yeah. Do you think, does combating piracy internationally matter, why do you think it matters so much to the U.S. film industry on an international level? Is it Should it be more domestically based, or do you think... The security. Security uh, of what? Are you asking what is domestically... What is domestically based on what... I missed the question, sorry. Okay. <laughs> Why does combating piracy internationally matter so much to the U.S. film industry? Because you can download them from everywhere. Download like if you, for example, if you block a website on the United States, they change their proxies and can access that website. And just because that website is not uh, infringing the copyright issues in another country, they don't have to shut down it. And they can continue what they're doing even though it's illegal in another country. So domestic bans would not work completely. Okay. Um, what are, do you guys know any of the certain laws or rules in your own countries as far as copyright goes? Not much. Like if you download something illegally on the internet? No, nothing will happen. Nothing will happen? No. 
there is a topic that I know involved in it. Then it's different everywhere. Yeah, I know in Finland, a nine-year-old kid downloaded a movie from a torrent website, and they uh, took his computer away. The police <laughs> came to her house. Old. Yeah, and her computer was like covered with. Uh, Disney logos, you know, the stickers are all around the place, and the police <laughs> took it away because she was downloading a movie illegally, and the movie was one of those Disney movies. Wow. <laughs> I think she didn't know. I don't know. She had to pay like three hundred dollars. Her family, of course. <laughs> what? You know, they have like pinpointed some people. Like it's such a big thing. Where you could probably pick out like anyone from a crowd and they'll have things downloaded, but they've like picked people and be like, okay, well, you know what? You have all this stuff on your computer and you're gonna pay us money for it. Yeah. Like, you could probably put anyone in prison for the amount of stuff yeah. they have on the computer. This is the lingo of that article. Nine-year-old Winnie the Pooh laptop. <laughs> Oh my gosh. <laughs> Terrible. Okay, I have a question for you guys. Um, there are a number of countries around the world who their governments help fund their film industry. Um, like, government money goes towards the film industry as an arts and culture type of thing. The U.S. makes so much of their money in their economy from Hollywood. So why doesn't the U.S. government help fund the film industry? Why do you do it? What? What was that question? I'll type it. I don't think that they need help. Well, if they're about copyright laws and about how um, piracy is affecting the economy, why doesn't the U.S. government help fund the film industry? Because this is something that governments all over the world do. They help fund arts and culture and through film. Yeah, but uh, for independent, independent film market. Mm-hmm. But has it Industry, they don't help. What? Do you want my help? If you are a professional industry, uh, you you don't you don't get help from the government. Only filmmakers that are not professionals, for example, the universities. Right. As far as I know, that they helps. Mm, I think it would be unnecessary to support them since Hollywood is making lots of money more than anything, any uh, movie industry in the world, and uh, like uh, their gross is more than like million dollars. Uh, I know pri- pri- piracy is important, but government should fund. The other things that are that is more important than the Hollywood fate, because they can fend for themselves. Even an actor is earning like million dollars. Yeah. Yes. As I say, they don't need help. I think. Yeah. Not important yeah. enough. Yeah. If they need help, they don't sell. Or the, or the actor don't share as much as they earn because they charge a lot for every every chapter that they make. Okay. Just wondering what you guys think. Mm-hmm. Um. And why does the U.S. make often often make more money globally than regionally? Do you think in the film industry? 
Sorry. Why does the U.S. often make more money globally than regionally in the film because industry? The rest of the world is bigger than U.S. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, just the fact that Hollywood is the most popular. Well, compared to six, six billion people, three three hundred million is nothing. So we just have a pro proliferation around the world for um, our movies. That <laughs> yeah, you can see Hollywood movies everywhere. Okay. Do you think like any other industry would ever compare? Hmm. What do you mean any other industry? Like any other countries? Any other movie industry? Oh no. Like Bollywood has a huge, in, in India, huge right? following, but. Yeah, but it's no compared to the U.S. industry. Anywhere near yeah. Hollywood. Yeah. They're like independent movies, and you don't see them very often. Yeah. Or maybe Bollywood, but I've never seen any movies from there. Yes. Most of the movies around the world is from Hollywood. Definitely. Or what? Or from Hollywood. All right. I don't see you very, very convinced. <laughs> Sorry? You don't look convinced. I can't hear you very well. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we said you don't look... Right now. You said we don't look... You don't look convinced at all. Your face is like, what are they talking about? <laughs> These guys were talking. <laughs> These guys are crazy. <laughs> no. No, yes. No. I think I... I, um... I'm losing faith in Hollywood, maybe. That's why. Because we're coming out with, like, a lot of... Terrible stuff lately. <laughs> maybe that's why. Or maybe yeah. it's just the fact that I have not been in the U.S. a long time, and everything I have seen is just like really. I don't know. I watched a few Korean movies. South Korean. It's very popular in Turkey. Yeah. Yeah, Korean TV shows. I have not watched many um, Korean dramas. They're supposed to be good. Hi, Gabriel. Hello. How Good are night. you? Fine. Uh, okay, we are going to do some assessments. Let's see. Does anybody want to go first? Um, I will take a, a phone because I can't understand well with the sound of okay, notes. Okay. Just a moment. I'm going to ask you a W question. No. Yes. <laughs> Actually, I might have you ask me a W question. Okay. Mm, which W word do I want you to use, though? Anybody want to go first? Me. Okay, for cool. Can you please ask me a where is question? Okay. Uh, where are you going to park your car? Where am I going to park my car? Good. Um, if I had a car, I would park it in the parking lot. Not a garage. No. Okay, okay, good job, thank you. Um, let's see. Chow, can you ask me a who is question, please? Who is who is the president of US? I don't know. I don't know neither. 
Who knows who that is? Good job. <laughs> um, okay, who wants to go next? Anybody? Right here. Okay. Juan, you want to go next? Yeah, why not? Shoot. Uh, how about a question starting with what kind of? What kind of films do you like the most? Okay, what kind of films do you like the most? I like comedies the most. Okay. I like comedy films. Who is your favorite, yeah. your favorite actor, comedy actor? Um, do you know Will Ferrell? Will Ferrell, yes. Yes, I like him a lot. Ah, uh, yes. Or Steve Carell. <coughs> Who? Can you repeat it? Steve Carell. Ah, uh, yes. Yes. Okay. Um, and Mohammed. Yep. How about a when question? When are you going to sleep? When am I going to sleep? Not for a long time. <laughs> so, good job. Thank you. And Gabrielle, would you like to join in on assessments even though you just got here? <laughs> What do I like? What? We're working on WH questions. Uh huh. So I'm gonna give you a word, and you just make a question out of it. Okay. Okay. How about a why question? Why? Um. Why do you do that? <laughs> why do you do that? Why <laughs> me? <laughs> Very general, but that works. Okay. Um. Now I'm going to have you guys ask each other questions. Uh, let's see. Who, does anybody want to go? I don't okay, know. How about for Khan? Can you please <laughs> ask somebody? You can pick who you ask. Okay. Ask somebody uh, a question. I'm going to ask Juan. Okay, why Anything? me? <laughs> because you're sitting next to it. <laughs> okay. Any kind of question? Okay. Just no, no care, personal man. question. Take care with these questions. <laughs> Who did that to you? What? Who? <laughs> okay. That was a movie line. What was it? Uh, that was a song's name. Who did that to you? Who did that to you? Yeah, you can type it on Google and you'll see it. Okay. Uh, okay, I'm going to ask another question. Where's that place that we see on your profile picture? That's a good question. Okay, uh, can you repeat it? Where is that place that we see on your profile picture? Where is this place? Uh-huh. Okay, it's a small town called Sumpango. Cool. Okay. Okay. Juan, you want to ask somebody a question using a WH word? Okay. Let me ask to Xiao. Yeah. Okay. Uh, what are you going to do tomorrow morning? <laughs> tomorrow morning? Yes. I'm... I, I will study in Klingo. Stop, okay. Yeah. Good. Thank you. Okay. Ciao. Yeah. So. W H question. Then Gab speak. Gabriel. Gabriel. Okay, Gabriel. <laughs> yes. Uh, what's the question? Where are you living now? Where am I living? Yeah. I uh, live in Recife, Brazil. Do you know? Oh, I see. Yeah. Okay. You know Brazil, not Recife, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's a very beautiful town. 
Okay. Uh, okay. Uh, who is Jimi Hendrix? Mohammed. Mohammed. Uh, Mohammed, why do you like Jimi Hendrix? Because I love Jimi Hendrix. Yes. He's a legend. <laughs> yes. Yes. <laughs> totally agree. Mohammed, do you know the song Castles Made of Sand? Castles Made of Sand? No, never heard of it. No? It's a oh, song, and it's based on a place called Esuera, uh, Morocco. I'll hear it now. Do you know, mold as love. So I went to Esuera nice. because of the song Castles Made of Sand. Oh. It's beautiful. Okay, I have to go to another class, but thank you guys so much. Um, and I will see you later. Okay, thank you. Bye. Thank you. Bye. Bye-bye. Come to my next class. Okay. Uh, the next